Yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. Hey, what's their major malfunction? Tyranny, right? Lady Justice inviting all the people out on an adventure. Let's go see what we can find. Who's in? our Second Amendment right um, and it letting others know about the right as well. Okay. And um, as long as you're out fishing, yeah. engaged in fishing, hunting, or camping, yeah. it is actually lawful to possess a firearm. Okay, so this isn't in protest of anything right now. Yeah. It's just a, an awareness, it's awareness thing. thing. Okay, yeah. we're not we're not protesting anybody. We're except fishing. For, yeah, that's it. That's we're all. Now, the other thing is, uh, all right. So you said you can carry this as long as you're fishing, hunting, or whatever. And camping. to or from. Yeah. To or from. Okay. Do you feel? need it when you're doing that right now absolutely okay in, in this and day and age in this day and age and that's not yeah, for the situation that's for people self-defense all or whatever what what i'm here to protect people never hurt people um there's just no no i'm not talking about necessarily going out to yeah. hurt people i'm just saying like but, i get that you can carry that to yeah. go hunting and fishing oh, yeah. do you feel you would need that much or yes. will you go hunting and fishing cool it's better to need it and not have it than not have it and need it right I, I mean i get you know yeah yeah i got you there you go what i'm saying is like that's why I figured. That's why I figured you were protesting something, trying to make a statement and carrying this because it's kind of a statement like, too. Because huh? it was, it's legal, so it is kind of a statement yeah. too. That to sorry, show that, that's thank legal. You yeah. For reminding me, that was what I came over here to ask. I I knew uh, concealed carry is legal in Florida where we're at or not, you know, but I didn't know open carry as yeah. such. But like you said, there's within the walking to and from, yeah. the hunting and fishing, fishing. Yeah. Oh, hunting, okay. fishing, camping, and the one difference between the concealed weapons permit here is that you have to apply for it and you have to wait for it. Right. This, as long as you have a valid fishing license and you're lawfully allowed to possess a firearm, you can go wherever you want, long as, and I always say stay away from schools, but as long as you can lawfully possess a firearm and you don't have a concealed weapons permit, you have to ask the government for that permission and the second amendment says not be infringed. And right. that's actually an infringement on my right. And when I first started this, I almost got robbed at two, about two, three o'clock in the morning by two guys. And my gun was in my car, and I was scared to open carry at the time. Oh, yeah. So that from that day, it, and at the beginning, it was like I was just carrying a handgun. Then I started dealing with police, and it wasn't it wasn't so much about the handgun; it was about my right to do it, and they just don't like it. Right. And if you don't like something, you have to make something more normal for people to see. And so, the handgun, yeah, if I could carry a handgun, probably wouldn't get half the attention that I do. Carrying this, it actually allows people like yourself and others. They have this curiosity about why and why I do it and, and how can you do this and that's what that's what that's what this is really all about is trying to tell you hey if you don't have a, if you don't have a CCW guess what you can do it like this and you, and even under the law you can actually conceal carry or open carry I just say if you get caught by the police and you're conceal carrying and they don't know the law they're gonna charge you with a felony if they don't know the law and you're openly carrying it's a misdemeanor that's the two different sides of it, you know, and that's why I say it's better to openly carry. That way, you're getting, I've been arrested for openly carrying, and they charged me with a misdemeanor, right. and then they had to throw it out because I was on my way to I fishing, and they just did not, the and they had no will clue. Show up. Somebody no will clue. get scared probably, and probably will call and say yeah. there's people it with happens. guns, even though it's nothing it homeless. And if they show up, then we'll video the interaction. Mm -hmm. And that's our First Amendment right, to oh, yeah, video yeah, yeah, in yeah, public. Yeah. So, and then we also have, we have YouTube channels where, and other platforms we post this on because we were trying to encourage the whole country to know their rights and to stand on them and stop just complying. Because yeah. often the cops don't know the law. That's why he said, don't tell the he's arrested. He ain't doing nothing wrong. They don't know the law. They just don't know. I was arrested and for video on recently. It happens to us all the time. We don't commit crimes. They don't know the law most of the time. Yeah, so right. things like this is what we do to get out there and bring awareness to the people and to the law enforcement. Yeah. And we like when people come up and ask Nice questions. to meet you, man. What's your name? Malcolm. What's that? Malcolm. Malcolm? Nice yeah. to meet you. My, my name's Mike. I go by the Armed Fisherman on YouTube. The Armed Fisherman. Yeah, yeah. Armed yeah, Fisherman. I'm American Amy. American Amy. And this is Lady Justice Liberty Press. This is... That's my YouTube channel. Gary Pixley. 
Yeah. Sunshine Sam and Yin Yang, yeah. you know who's now. <laughs> but if you find one, you can yeah, usually. Yeah, I was going to we'll say, I'm not going like, to front like I'm going to remember all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll, you'll, every, everybody here will be on the description, so yeah, you can yeah, always go to their be, channels. And they'll have a link. And you, you'll, you'll, see, you'll be able to see everything that, you know, they do a little bit different. They're on the First Amendment half. I still use my First Amendment, but I, I really stress the second. And, you know, right. some people like it, some people don't. And even those ones that don't, they, they can't, they come up and ask questions. And I'm like, even though you're, you're so-called scared of it, you're here you are with them, not question. you, but no, no, like people you. get within three to six feet of me, and then we have a conversation, and we both yeah. walk away, and City everybody's worker. fine, and you know, and that's half of it. It's just trying to make sure everybody, everybody with a gun isn't a bad person, you know. Oh yeah, no, of no course it's not. usually yeah. the good guys, the Education, people that have them, that can save Education. somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. we need good. Yeah, you gonna go fishing, man? Where's your fishing pole? Yeah, kill a little time and just happen to come across this. That's fantastic. Bring your long gun and a pole next time. You know, you were curious. You came up to us. You know, we talked to us. A lot of people. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about. We just walked down South Beach. Yeah. Uh, you like know, walked out, you know, weaving in and out of thousands of people, and not a single person was running no. off being scared. Yeah, because for the most part, I mean, when you see something like this, you, you're like, uh, and then, like, you see this, and it's like, all right, you, the first thing is curiosity, not fear. Then you see, you know, and it's like, all right, what is this about? Is this yeah. a protest? Is, you this, is it a statement? Yeah. And so on and so forth. But yeah, anybody who, who uh, would be fearful of it, like you said, that it. It is the, the instant reaction to run or get or find cover or whatever else. If you don't see that, that person is curious. They want to know more. Right. They want to see what's going on. A lot of times so they just lot, call the cops. Right. Like you see yeah, somebody okay. poking around the building all, you know, with a gun. Then that's when that's you start to get a little yeah. worried. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> and that's your that's situational awareness. You know, you just a guy just walking, not holding it, not doing anything and like with this. And a camera yeah. on him. Why would he yeah. be committing a crime with yeah. the cameras on him? Yeah. 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 Come on, fish. Yeah. But they don't think about that, or they just don't care. We have, you know, and we're also trying to people to know the rights, like when they're pulled over or when the police approaches you. I'm getting the lights. Constitution, the Bill of Rights. You have to know those things because they don't know. You're going to know them and stand them. Right. Like, they'll tell you you're going to do all kinds of shit. You don't have to do them. <laughs> yeah. Be free to say I need to be good. I appreciate it. No, <laughs> well, thanks, man. I appreciate you. you. <laughs> now it's starting to get a little warm. A little bit. I just wish this thing Y'all have yourselves a good time out here. It was sir. nice to meet you. Look us up. He'll have our channels linked in there. Yeah. Got you. Right. <laughs> I'm actually glad to see and it. And a little maybe I don't hate start to say it, but too. a little more glad to see it because you're a culture dude walking around with that and right. not yeah. having the problems that usually come along with it yep. and having, you know, other folks. Uh, kind of watching my six exactly, while it's going. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Put the information yeah, out there with you. good. We got black friends that do it too and they'll do it by themselves too it doesn't matter i mean it does matter and i know the police are going to be worse than black people or people of color and the poor too and the homeless yeah. and the home yeah. but they'll take anybody as their victim i swear to god they will they will it's true that's anybody true. it was at the fact that night i got arrested it was three black cops that arrested me i mean i didn't see it as a race thing either right. way though Man. I, just, I just know cops how they are yeah, and, the, and the, like i'm talking about our civil rights most yeah. of them don't know they don't teach them it's so simple yeah. And then, like, if they do, let's just say something did go down today, and the police got called. Okay, and instead of using the video as education or to say what happened, they'll make it like they'll propagandize it. And, like, even though it was legal, but this, you know, it'll, they'll turn it to their advantage. Y'all, I've had one made about me. Uh, there's some guys that did some shit their day, and, they, and so it, they use it to try to propagate themselves. You know, it kind of sucks. But if you look at our versions, you'll see the real thing. You know? Yeah, right. What really happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw this guy around here nearby. Yeah, he's one of us. But we thought we thought we might even have more. Sometimes we have 15, 20, 30. It just depends on who can show up, who can make it. You'll see more soon than that. We have. We travel. Remember, you're us. Second, Second Amendment. Amendment. Yes. I need a picture of that. Have a great day. Thank you. It's Thank a pleasure you. to meet you. You too. Let's get something again. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Remember your oath. And as you Second see, I believe in stopping power. Yeah, and yeah, can you introduce yourself for the camera? I'm sorry? Like introduce my yourself for my camera, please. <laughs> So only Do you real. mind I mean, introducing yourself? Oh, I'm Cameron. Chris. Like my name is Chris McNeil, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, Sam, my friend Sam, I've been born here. She used to live in Tampa. And three weeks ago, I went up to Tallahassee to be part of the protest for mm -hmm. the uh, HB 103. Yeah. And I spoke to three senators and Charlie Chris, and uh, all they did was uh, 
nod their head for me and then they'll go to the next guy and he's anti-gun they'll nod their head for him and the typical politician just a bunch of shit um, I ended up talking to um, uh, Branner which is chief of the public safe commissioner anyway he's the one that's uh, holding up the bill and won't let it go to the floor in the house for vote yep. and this is the seventh year in a row that he's, uh, wow. that he's, he's held on to that bill um, we submitted uh, petitions in his office, we got it on film. It's on YouTube right now, yeah. Yeah. and uh, we we have film showing us in the office and, and dropping off the bill. We came back 20 minutes later no. to just try to catch him because he wasn't in his office, and we found the bill in the trash. Damn it, man! All, you all get on the video too. Filled out from uh, GOA, got the... the oh, there was a list. And that's there on was, video there was too. Like, there was that like they were in the trash. Yes, yeah, so yeah. in the trash can. It's on I, my channel because I, I, I actually started it. talking about it's, politics again. And I was like, I don't like talking about it, but this is the way it is. This is the way it is. And we so can't, without, without can't get us away understanding from up against it, the only way it is to go through there. And then right. I was like, you know, we used to tar and feather friggin' tyrants like right, this. Right, 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 right. You know, I'm not saying do it, I'm just saying that's, that's what we used to put them off public we display. Have to fight them it's legally. on five channels on YouTube, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's it's just, yeah GOA, I think, contacted GOA's those people on channels and notified them to do something. Yeah. I ended up talking to Sabatini. Now, he's the man that submits the bill every year, yeah. okay? okay? But he's actually a very low ranking senator, he has no power, no pull. Um, and he's trying to get recognition, but because of uh, Branner holding on to it, the bill never makes it to the floor. So it was killed again. Today is the last day, last of, day. Of, of committee, and if it, nothing happens today, then we'll be. I mean, yeah, I even have a, a call scheduled. Like an I have a call scheduled with um, DeSantis. I don't know if you know you can do this, but if you'll call DeSantis's office and you tell them what you want to discuss with him, then his people make an evaluation on whether that topic is worthy of his time, we'll say, and uh, they'll call you back and schedule a time for him to call you wow, a day and time, and you can talk to him about your how you feel about a topic. So I'm on the list. I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to be too late for this year. Yeah, but see, Brannard is in Lake County, and so I can't vote him out of office because he's not in my district. Nope. The people in Lake County have to. Right. And then whoever gets in, if they're pro-gun, then it'll make it to the floor for discussion. And Florida might be the 25th state. I think that Alabama was yesterday, yeah, Ohio's they, they coming decided. up, Georgia's coming up. So by the time we get to it, we might be the 25th. Instead, nice. instead of 23rd, right. Yeah. We can celebrate. We could go fishing again. Hey, I want to ask you guys, have you all heard anything about House Bill 11? Has anybody read it? I read the one that they passed in Oklahoma. It says, with the intent to harass or to something like that. Um, I've heard the one in Florida has passed at least halfway. I don't know. I heard they're going to put in effect in um, October. I see in it leading to a lot more arrests. I don't see it really holding up in court, though. 